And new tonight, a Longmont family's dinner interrupted when a car comes crashing into their home and the woman behind the wheel arrested for driving drunk. And police find her five-year-old son in the back seat. 7 News reporter Amanda Zitzman talking with the owners of the home now cleaning up this mess. Amanda? Yeah, take a look at this damage. You can see the bricks scattered all across their front lawn. This blue tarp now acting as a barrier from the snow and cold weather we're dealing with out here tonight. The mother in this home pointing out her four year old son likes to play right where this crash happened. We found this broken toy truck right there. This was all one big brick pillar. Mitzi Newland says she, her husband, and their two young sons were just sitting down for dinner, thankfully, towards the back of the house. We heard some screaming, and we heard screeching of tires. Running to their front door to find a hole in the wall, a vehicle inside their living room. It is terrifying. Fortunately, both of my kids were within arm's reach when it happened, so I knew they were right there. Police say the driver, Kendra Trim, first hit a car at the corner of East 3rd and Pace and took off. Drove eastbound on the sidewalk. Got back on the road. Eventually slamming into the Newlands home on 5th, police say Trim's five year old son was in the car the entire time. Grabbed the kid out of the car, tried to give it to a neighbor. Witnesses also saw two female passengers run away. Somebody took off that way, somebody took off that way. Police catching one of them later, arresting her on outstanding warrants, noting they found meth pipes in her bag. The driver and her son, both taken to the hospital, expected to be okay. If she needs help, we want her to get the help that she needs. Our house is messed up, but it can be fixed. That damage estimated around $20,000. The family out here tonight, very thankful for the Longmont Fire Department. They say they installed this pole that you see here in an effort to help stabilize things. As for Trim, she now faces numerous charges, including child abuse, driving under the influence, and leaving the scene. Police say her son is now in the care of a relative. Live in Longmont, Amanda Zitzman, 7 News.